Hi folks, Mr. Tessalonian here. What you're looking at in front of you is a hydrofoil based hydroelectric generator system that I've been working on. I'm going to show you it here in action in a moment. I'm going to change up some of the things about the timing, but I did find a way that you could create a usable timing for this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now here today. What we have here is two foils. We have a foil here, a foil back here in the back, basically a teeter totter or a sawhorse style design off of a center pivot point. We have a linkage rod going from our foil. So if I pull this linkage rod this way, that foil goes up and that foil goes up as well, making sure that as that one goes up, the force against that one is going to pull that side down and equal and opposite to each other, just like that. And you'll see the cam lobe up there working as I do that. Um, so the way this works basically is we have a cam lobe that's gonna be driven off of the main drive wheel. And that cam lobe, I just have some uh, cables hooked up through a series of pulleys. One goes down and around that pulley, back out to this side of our linkage rod. Uh, the other one goes down here and over to this side of the linkage rod. And you'll notice here, as I turn this, the foil is going to shift angle. So now it's going down, you rotate through, the foil is going to shift angle to go back up. Keep rotating through, the foil is going to shift angle to go down and back and forth. And I'll change the angle here so you can see this a little differently. So there you go, very simple design. One of the foils had to be held out in front, obviously, instead of held from the main part of it. So I had to build a bridge over that. We have a spring on top on that one. And this one here just was mounted right off the bed frame piece I used, and a spring on this one. And because they're going in opposite directions, that spring on the top and that spring on the top actually apply different directional forces, so I don't need springs on both sides. I'm a little limited on space here, but hopefully you can see this. I've got the machine here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and turn the cam around and let you see just how this thing's going to actuate. So here we go. First of all, you're going to turn it. You can see the blade pitch down when I turn it up. The blade pitches down, the machine's going to go down, you keep rotating, the blade's pitching up. Up at the top, it's going to turn around, re-pitch all the way down, turn back, and just like that. 